Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Animal Kingdom. There are a whole bunch of new things that I wanted to come out and show you guys, including the return of the Tumble Monkeys to the Festival of the Lion King, which I'm so happy they are back. And then also I wanted to ride some rides, eat some food. It's been a while since we've been on Expedition Everest, and that's one of my all-time favorite rides, and just have a beautiful Animal Kingdom kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this. Today is July 18th, and I have to say, it has been an extremely hot July this year in Florida. And Animal Kingdom is definitely one of the hottest parks, and we're looking at 94 degrees out today. 94 degrees out, and it probably feels like 103, and I'm excited to be back here. The reason I haven't been out so long is because it's been so hot, but there's a lot of new things. This will also be the first time that I get to go see the new Finding Nemo musical because that actually started or premiered when I was on my road trip up north in Pennsylvania checking out all those theme parks. So it's going to be good to catch that and then like I said the Tumble Monkeys and a bunch of other Animal Kingdom food that I haven't been able to try. So a fun filled day today and I'm excited. It's also a great start to the day when you first walk in and you get to see Divine. Look at her, isn't she amazing? We actually match today, like I feel like my shirt blends in pretty well. I picked this shirt, it's an actual, it's an Ewok shirt from Roosevelt, but I like it because it kind of reminds me of Animal Kingdom. And look at that. <laughs> it's perfect. We're gonna try our best to stay cool today by having a good rotation, you know? We're gonna ride a ride, then maybe go see a show, then maybe grab a snack, and just kind of uh, keep it going so that way we're not just constantly out in the sun. I'm feeling like we're gonna need a really good strong start to the day, so I think we're gonna head over to Expedition Everest and ride that first. I feel so fancy, like, you know what? We're going to Animal Kingdom, we're gonna ride Expedition Everest first. We might actually have to hold the brakes on Expedition Everest because the smiling crocodile is open and you know believe it or not uh, Even though Animal Kingdom is open until 8 o'clock at night a lot of the food places close at 3 o'clock And this is one of them the smiling crocodile closes at 3 o'clock the park is open to 8 But I've always wanted to come here and get the tacos They have pulled pork street tacos chicken street tacos street corn tacos and I always miss it So I think before Expedition Everest Everest, maybe some tacos, which I don't know if that's the greatest idea, but we're gonna go for it. This is actually a pretty good deal. For $9.99, you get two tacos and chips and salsa, and that's, not, that's a pretty good deal, you know what I mean? And like I said, it's only open until 3 o'clock, so that's why we're gonna do it now. And I'm also gonna show you another booth that's open only until 3 o'clock. So in case you ever wanna get any of these, you gotta know, you gotta be here by 3. But here are the tacos themselves. And I went with the pulled pork one. I was gonna go with the chicken one, but I kind of was feeling the pork. And I like the look of the salsa. Look at this. That looks really, really good. I was not expecting that. Like, <laughs> I'm all about it. So we're gonna dive in and uh, give them a go. I feel like I should dip the taco into the salsa first, but we're gonna try it on its own first and then try it with the salsa. So here we go. I love how we have the lime creme on there and then some peppers and I'm gonna add a little bit more of the lime. The pork is actually really good. Oh, I gotta get that chip out of it. Get that chip out of my salsa. And now we're gonna go in here. Look at that. That's the way. Now I think we're ready. Oh yeah. Well, I'm happy that we got these. This was a great option. Like I said, if you want something quick and fast, these street tacos really do the trick. And plus, I love the name of the little location, the Smiling Crocodile. It's perfect. Another really cool stand that's right next to the Smiling Crocodile is the Eight Spoon Cafe. And this also closes early too. So if you want to get some good mac and cheese, then you got to get here early, including the pulled pork jelly donut sandwich. That is basically a pulled pork sandwich in between a jelly donut, which I've had before. And it is actually interesting. And also look at these signs. Look at this. I love it. Enough of the taco business though. Let's go head over and ride Expedition Everest. And also that's one of my favorite rides to cool off on. Like you really do get a nice little breeze and you're able to cool down a little bit. And we'll try some more food a little bit later on. And I'm excited, I'm excited for Everest. 
one of the things I love about Animal Kingdom is and no matter how many times I come here, I can always find like little tucked away pathways and little hidden spots that I've never seen before. And as I was making my way over to Expedition Everest, I noticed by this cold beverage refreshment stand, they had like this little area over here. And I always kind of thought that this was like closed off for like, you know what I mean? Not like maybe for cast members, but this is an entryway to the lower garden seating area. And look at this over here. It's so well themed themed and it's so pretty and I can't believe I've never really paid attention look at this bicycle with the rose petals on it and you actually get to walk down here and it's got a nice little seating area back here a nice little boat down here this is very nifty I love all the theming that they do here oh wow look at those fans right there that's the place you want to sit that's probably the coolest spot in this whole park that's outdoors right there oh boy I think you guys have come to realize I get distracted very easily. I'm like, first things first, Expedition Everest. Then I'm like, street tacos. Then I'm like, ooh, fans. I get really excited over the littlest thing, but I always want to point them out and show you. <laughs> But here we go, we have made it over to Expedition Everest. And dare I say, maybe later at the end of the video, maybe we might go for a ride on Cali River Rapids and try to avoid being a soggy bottom boy. I always do that like last at the end of the night because there's a good chance you're gonna get soaked. I'm gonna be sure to check the wait time for Expedition Everest, but luckily we're living the single rider life, so uh, we're not gonna have to wait long because we're gonna use the single rider line. It says 45 minutes, but like I said, we're doing single rider, which all you do is just walk uh, to the side of the building. Not where the lightning lane is. You'll see like a little sign back here that I'll show you. They actually don't even have a sign out front. So a lot of people don't even know a single rider line uh, exists, but here it is. You see it? Single rider entrance open. And it looks like our wait time was exactly... I don't know, I'd say 10 seconds. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Single rider with them. Oh, I'm coming to ride with you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. Hi. We might have to take the hat off for this expedition, or I could just hold it this whole time. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, here we go. me every time <laughs> phone <laughs> oh Well, that was a lot 
of fun. We literally waited 10 seconds in the single rider line. We walked right up and then we got to ride with a friend and she watches the videos. It was so fun. Thank you so much for riding with me. It was a lot of fun and I love how you matched the energy with me and it was great. Now, I think since it's raining out right now, I think we're going to try to make it over to the festival of the Lion King for the 3 o'clock showing. So we only have like 15 minutes so I'm going to run in the rain. Uh oh. It's, it's, it's picking up. The rain. Oh. Bob and weave. Bob and weave everyone. Seek shelter, seek shelter. Whoo! <laughs> well, that was a fast two minute and 30 second shower. Like, <laughs> literally, it was two minutes and 30 seconds. Like, just like that. Like, I think we were running right by those bathrooms right there, and then it just stopped now. And that's Florida. But I think we're gonna make it over to the Festival of the Lion King. Hopefully. I picked the wrong shoes today. Now I've got soggy shoes. These are like that net mesh material, and my soaks, my soaks are soaked. My soak is soak. Maybe during Festival of the Lion King, I'll take my uh, socks and shoes off and let the dogs out for a little bit. Let them dry off a little bit. Looks like the next show time for the Festival of the Lion King is in, in five minutes. Five minutes. I hope that we're going to be able to get in for this show or else I sacrificed my soggy dogs for no reason. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm very excited to come and see Festival of the Lion King. This is one of my all-time favorite shows. I always get goosebumps whenever I watch the show. And when the parks first reopened and Festival of the Lion came back, it came back as a modified show. And they didn't have the tumble monkeys in it. And that was one of my favorite scenes. It reminds me of the fireies in the labyrinth. Have you guys ever seen the labyrinth movie? Uh, the fireies were like the fox-looking fire muppets. And they dance around Sarah. It's so cool. But they were my favorite part. And they were gone. And now they're back and I can't wait to see them. Wow, looks like we are gonna make it in here for the three o'clock showing. There's not even a big line in here, so we're really lucky. I'm very excited for this. I can't guarantee we're gonna get good seats, especially showing up like five minutes to prior show time, but uh, you never know, things could work out for the best. And plus, it's just me, so. Ooh, Jumbo friends. Party of one. Look at that, a party of one, I got a great seat. Isn't that awesome? It really pays to come by yourself to Animal Kingdom. The group that I walked in are going all the way back there, but like I've got like the first like three rows right here, and I get to see all the performers come out from right here. So that's gonna be really fun. Evolutionary ladder? Let's hear it for Nerd 
sounds great, Zimba. Well, let's have a party. You heard it. Honestly, I think we had the best seats in the house, right next to Simba. That was fantastic. Look at him. That is the Lion King. That was absolutely amazing. Such a great show. And I was so lucky to get that seat too because what they normally do is they try to move everybody down so then they, you know, grab party to two and one. And I was at the very end right next to Simba. I was so happy. The tumble monkeys were fantastic. Their energy was like at a thousand. And let me know in the comments if you guys know what I'm talking about when I said they were like the fireies from the labyrinth. I think that's the name of the Muppets in the labyrinth, fireies. Uh, but let me know if you guys know what I'm talking about and if you agree with me because I really, I just see them and it, it was such a favorite part of the movie for me. And yeah, it's great to have them back. Now, I guess we're gonna uh, continue moving around and uh, enjoy the park a little bit more. Since we're over here in Africa, there's been one thing that I've been wanting to try over here at the Kusafari coffee shop and bakery. And my friend uh, Kristen right down Main Street told me I should get it. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it today. And it's the marinated chicken flatbread. Look at this. It comes with uh, marinated chicken topped with cucumber tomato salad, tahini sauce, greens, and served with seasoned house-made chips. And I've had the spiced ham pies before. Those are actually very good, but I'm a little interested in this. I'm, I'm getting adventurous here and I like it. Like usually I would get it without the tahini sauce because I've never had it before, but uh, yeah, mix it up a little bit, you know? They also have a pork one, but since we got the pork tacos earlier, I decided to get the chicken taco, uh, the chicken uh, one this time, and take a look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? Like, I'm excited to even try the chips. I think we're gonna try the chips first. Look at that. They're very airy, house-made chips. I bet you it's got a good little sound effect, too. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, try a chip. They're very good chips. Yeah, would you want to try a chip? No? Ah. It's got like a nice little seasoning to it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Try one, yeah. Get in there. Come on in. You want a chip? They're house-made chips from over there. Very good. Yeah, no, no, go ahead. Honestly, all in. Yeah. Nice. Hey, how are you? Well, that was really fun. I was sitting there eating my chips and someone came up and was like, hey, I like how you described those potato chips. And I'm like, hey, you want to try some? And then a bunch of people just started grabbing chips. So it was really cool. I really like when things like that happen. And I'm just like, hey, anyone want a chip? You want a chip? And the chips are good. They have like a special seasoning to it. I'm not even sure. I can't pinpoint exactly what it is, but they are different and special. Now we got to try the flatbread or chicken pita. Here is a good look at it before we dive into it. Let me pull it uh, to the side there. And I mean, it looks good. I'm, I'm, I'm a little uh, nervous about the sauce, but one thing that I've really grown to appreciate while making these videos is trying new things and trying sauces because I'm a very picky eater, believe it or not. But I have, you know, experienced and uh, expanded my palate greatly. And let's pick it up and see. Oh man, that is a big one. We might have to actually slide this down and use the thing. The pita looks really good though. We might have to slide it like we do Casey's. Look at that. Oh. I had to put the camera down because it's going down. We're gonna lift this bad boy up. I'm gonna kinda, I'm gonna try to eat it like this and then that way I don't make a mess out of it. So here we go. That chicken is phenomenal. It is so good, nicely seasoned. Look at that, I pulled out a piece of it. I really can't taste the sauce though. I, all I did was just taste the chicken and the pita itself. This is actually amazing. Like this is the same price, almost the same price as the tacos. And I have to say, I think I would much rather get one of these instead of the tacos. The tacos were a little bit smaller and you got salsa with it, but I feel like this is just a little bit better. And the chips are definitely hands down better. I would just get the chips alone if I wanted a quick snack, but very well done. I love it. It's a really good meal. 
And then you can use your chips as little dips to pick out the pieces that fell off the pita. All right, enough of the chicken pita business. But I do have to say that flatbread was amazing, and thank you so much, Leah. Uh, but now I wanted to show you guys the wait times. It looks like dinosaurs at a 40-minute wait. Finding Nemo, the big blue and beyond, which is the new show, starts at 4.30. We have just about 30 minutes, and I think we can make it. Triceratops spin is only a five-minute wait. Avatar Flight of Passage was a 125-minute wait. Cali River Rapids is 70 minutes? What is going on there? That does not seem right at all. I remember doing Cali River Rapids, like, walk-on, but it is a hot day like I said Navi River 60 minutes so it doesn't seem overly busy dinosaurs only 40 minutes that's not too bad at all I really did want to go do Cali River Rapids but 70 minutes I feel like that's not what I'm really up for right now I guarantee by the end of the night it's gonna be a walk-on like there will be nobody waiting to do Cali River Rapids I think we're going to make our way over to the Finding Nemo Theater and see if we can catch the next showtime, which is in 10 minutes. 10 minutes. But I do want to point out, though, if you plan on coming to any of these shows, uh, you definitely want to prepare a little bit more than what I am. Me being a single person, it's a little bit easier. But a lot of these shows, they fill up fast. You don't get good seats. So go wait for a little bit. And even some of them have lightning lane. Like, you can use a lightning lane for them. So give it some time. Don't try to show up like I do. I mean, unless you're by yourself. Because, like I said, you will, you'll, you'll get lucky, probably. <laughs> The Finding Nemo is a musical, and it's another show kind of like Festival of the Lion King, but uh, when Festival of the Lion King came back, it came back like as an altered version. From what I've been told, this is a brand new show, The Big Blue and Beyond, and I'm excited because I really did love this before. It was one of like the more entertaining, and it's great to get out of the heat and get in the AC, and uh, I'm excited to see it. I, I didn't watch any videos about it, so I'm gonna see it fresh eyes with you. Oh yeah, as you can see, lots of people here. This is what I was talking about. And they have one, two, three, four, five, only six show times here. 10.30 to end, the last one is four. Oh, this is the last show of the day. We got really lucky here. Holy moly. So I'm glad that we're going in now. It has been like three years since I've been in this theater. This is exciting. Wow, I am so excited to be back in this theater. Like I said, I think it's been about like maybe three years since I've been here. It looks so beautiful in here. I really love it. I think I'm going to sit front row, front and center. <laughs> Look at that. I think this is the closest you can get to the stage, possibly. I really can't tell if the best or the front is the best seat, but I, I mean, why not? Nobody else is sitting down here. Literally, I don't think anyone came to the front row except me. The only thing is the stage is a little bit higher than I am, so I might have to peek it up like this. <laughs> This theater is absolutely massive though. Look at this. It's huge and I feel like I'm in an aquarium with all these blue lights. I don't know how well it's gonna affect on the camera, but I kind of like the way it looks now. You got a little light on this face and a little blue on this side. Ooh. As we explore the mysterious world of the open ocean. houses many aquatic species, including fish from the wild who need our help. Like uh, it all started. Oh, when Marlin and Blue came in Dory. No, no, it's when they found that mask. No, 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 it's when they escaped those sharks. Oh, that part's scary. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> nope. It all started with a little clownfish named Nemo. Who's this? He's got a little fin. I'll be calling him his lucky fin. <laughs> 
if he gets tired, he can pretend to be on high. Let's go explore! Hold on! Are you ready? such an awesome perspective sitting in the front row like you got to see them really up close and it was so amazing I really really love that the show was fantastic I loved it a lot I'm so happy it's back it's such a great like it, it, it's just such a great like fresh of breath air seeing Disney entertainment you know what I mean I, I love it just to give you guys some perspective, I sat right here, like I said, in the front row, and you can see all of the stage, like right here. I felt like they were performing just for me, but the characters do, I mean, well, the performers, not the characters, the performers do walk up here and they go around up there, so you will miss a little bit of the action, but that was great. Like, I felt like, I felt like they were like, just like, it was great, very awesome. 
You know what's really funny is we started off the day talking about how hot it is and I have been pretty much staying cool. It was so nice sitting inside uh, the Finding Nemo theater and then Festival of the Lion King. It's been really easy going in, especially when we had a little bit of that rain and the humidity rose up. Like I thought I was going to be roasting, but yeah, it's not too bad at all. And once again, I really am, I want to emphasize on how amazing that show is. The performers in there, they are just so um, like talented. I really love it. I feel like I'm on like a special Broadway in like New York City, but here I am at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Since we're over here in Dino Land, I wanted to come over and check on this little crocodile that they have here. Well, he's not little, and I always come and look at him every time I've been here. Ever since the first time I came to Animal Kingdom, I thought it was so cool, and I don't even know if it's the same crocodile or not. I should ask somebody, but I don't see him, and I haven't seen him in a while, so I hope that he's still here. Like, I, I usually, sometimes I see him laying here, but no, I don't see him. I haven't seen him in a while. If anybody knows any information about this crocodile, let me know because I really do love it. It's like been kind of a tradition for me since my first trip to Animal Kingdom. And with that, I think we are done here today. I had a great day today, actually, hanging out, going and riding uh, Expedition Everest, and then also I'm happy to see the Tumble Monkeys back. That was fun to see Festival of the Lion King. Uh, Finding Nemo was fantastic. I did notice the pelican wasn't there, like the big pelican in the show, and that was like one of my favorite things because it was so like, you know, eye-catching, you know what I mean? But everything else, I mean, the show was great. I'm glad to see a lot of the characters that per like returned, and yeah, it was a great day today. I thought it was gonna be super hot. I didn't even sweat that much. I feel comfortable. Yeah, it was actually overall an amazing day. So I'm so happy that I got to come out and make a video. And I hope you guys enjoyed it because I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.